Hey guys, uh, this video is a reason number four to join the Creation Temple. I got messed up on the numbers, so <laughs> you may have seen I had two number three videos or three of them. I don't know what happened. But anyway, this video is about reason number four to join the Creation Temple. In the Creation Temple, we will be practicing the art of transmutation. Now, I will explain a little bit about transmutation, how it works, what it is. Uh, it's something I've been practicing for a long time. So basically, it is the art of alchemy, taking something of one substance and turning it into a different substance. So the way I use transmutation is when I'm working with my shadow self and releasing density, I set the intention to release that thing of lower density that is within me and to transmute it into the energies of love and light. And then I can integrate those energies of love and light because what happens when uh, sometimes we try to release something, if we aren't transmuting it, we can reintegrate that thing we're releasing and uh, we don't really get too much further along on our path. So the difference is when you transmute something, you use that magical art of alchemy to actually truly release it to let go of whatever it is that is of lower density and to turn it into love and light. And this happens with your intention and this happens with your commitment and discipline practice. So just for an example, um, if I have something, you know, let's just say I have some sadness that I've been holding on to. Um, maybe someone in my family died and I'm just holding on to this grief and this sadness and Really, in truth, I'm, I'm complete with it, but uh, there's something about it that's familiar, and so I hold on to it. Well, if I set the intention to release and transmute it, what I can do is truly release that sadness from my being, and then I can actually turn that sadness into love and light energies. And so there's nothing particularly special that you have to do. But it is, uh, what's required is a true release, true surrendering that thing that you wish to release. So you can't just say, yeah, I'm going to release this thing and then you go about your life. It's, it's a true, like, I'm surrendering this now. I'm actually committing to let this go. And as I let this go, I then want to turn it into the energies of love and light so that I can integrate the love and light energies and therefore that uh, moves you forward on your path. So if you think about um, if you are releasing energy because energy always exists, you know, it just gets passed on from one person to another or transferred from one thing to another. If you don't transmute the energy, it has the potential to come back to you in some way. So that's why the transmutation piece is so important. It's yes, it's important to release, and then beyond that, what's even more important is to actually transmute what it is you're releasing. So it's the simple art of alchemy, and we will be talking about this a lot in the Creation Temple and working, working in your everyday life, you know, figuring out what is it that I would like to release now? What is it that I'm feeling complete with, that I'm ready to release, and that I would like to transmute so I can really move myself forward in my life? So like I said, I've been practicing this for a long time and it's really truly served me. There are so many things that used to hold me back. There are so many things that used to um, plague me and especially because I'm a deep feeler. There are things that used to really um, get under my skin, really affect me that honestly don't affect me anymore and it's uh, it's been a beautiful journey. So it's something really important that we, we need to be practicing if we are on our ascension paths in a committed, disciplined way. We'll be talking about that and so much more in the Creation Temple. So reason number four to join the Creation Temple is to practice uh, with your soul family, your release and transmutation skills. You can go to suzybyler.com slash creation hyphen temple and hit the buy now button to join. And if you are someone in financial need, you'd like to apply for a scholarship, there is a form that you can download on that webpage as well. All right, you guys, lots of love. Uh, we are meeting October 9th is our first online gathering. 
So if you want to be part of that first gathering, um, I was able to open up um, some more spots actually, so I'm really excited about that because we completely filled it up. Um, but I worked a little magic and <laughs> there are now more spots available. So um, whoever wants uh, can join if you're feeling called. All right, lots of love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.